everybody welcome mr steve back and i've got another add-on that i've been working on and i called this one one click proxy so what can you do with one click proxy well i'm about to show you so let's go ahead and i'm going to throw in a bit more of a complex mesh once it decides it wants to actually load there we go all right so the add-on there we go the add-on is very simple all i have to do is select any mesh object and click ocp what's going to happen then is it's going to turn that into a proxy instance for you automatically now some it's just as difficult as the ui gets very easy to use what you can do is you can turn the proxy on or off right here and whenever you do that it's going to actually show it's actually going to show either object or it's going to show proxy then right here you'll see you'll have it's kind of hard to tell but you have a little bounding <laughs> not a bounding box convex hull and if you click this you will get the bounding box then with the proxy enabled you can come over here and click solid and go from solid and it will actually turn it into a wireframe just have to give it like Maybe four to five seconds for a really complex mesh. I could turn this down to 0 0.001 for the wireframe. And just give that a second to load. And boom, there. Now we got our, our viewport back. And we have very complex mesh. If I hide the scenery here, you can actually get some pretty cool renders with something like that. But this is just a kind of like a neat little backup option for you so if you don't want the wireframe you've got that now when you're in here and you've got a whole bunch of these you'll be able to switch them individually into different proxy styles and then of course turn that proxy off now the fun part is this has a is viewport built into it so if you were to come in here and go to render this out all right one last thing I actually went back in and added a new button, which will not be in the latter part of the tutorial. This one is show wire in render. And whenever it is embossed blue like that, that means it's actually going to show up in the render when you have wireframe selected and proxy on. So very easy. This one is now a convex. This one's a bounding box. And this one is a wireframe in the background. And let's go ahead and see how that looks. All right, so first two cars, I can clearly see those and they are regular. And the one in the back is a wireframe, which actually looks pretty darn cool. So that could almost be like a kind of a blueprint. Maybe if you were to kind of break the parts, loose parts, You'd have something like a exploded model, perhaps. That'd be pretty cool. Anyhow, that's it. These two with the proxy on them obviously don't show up, but the wireframe will show up if you follow those directions with the buttons. And that is just by turning on the proxy, turning on the wire, and then show in render. And if you turn that off, of course, it'll go back and you can switch between these or just turn it off completely. All right, on to the rest of the tutorial. Go ahead and smash the subscribe, smash that like. Go over on the Gumroad. There will be a link in the description below. Go pick up this add-on and enjoy. I'll show you the add-on. I just have to install it. So right about here we go. I call this the OCP, the one click proxy, pretty neat. So once you've got the one click uh, proxy, so we don't have to do that. Let's do this. And in fact, I'll just, um, I will save this file and I'll put it on the gum road so you guys can get it if you want. Let's just call it the proxy for gum road. Spelling is atrocious, no big deal. And shake all this loose get rid of that camera try not to clear my throat so much on the um, actual microphone here 
So here we go. Here's OCP. Nothing will show up by design, so there are no errors. The more complex the mesh, the better this works. So if you throw in your Suzanne with a subsurf, don't crash. And I'll just apply that and we can shade it smooth or shade it auto smooth. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to shade it smooth. Click OCP and you're going to get an instant convex hull setup. You've got a modifier here that's set up. You've got a list. I put a nice pretty um, node group in here so you can kind of see what's going on. It's not exactly the same thing that I did, but it's, it's pretty close. And you've got some wireframe options as well. So now once this is set up, you can turn it off. And the icon will switch and the name will switch. So it's very user-friendly UI, extremely easy to use. So it's either on or off, and you can see that right here. And then you can switch it from the convex hull. And I know the icon is really small. The next version of the Serpent's add-on creator, they're actually going to make it so I can increase the size of these icons a little bit. But when you do that, like outside of it, it kind of gets crashy. So we're trying to do that. And if you click this, you'll get bounding box, and then it will be represented by a little default cube, a little blue de default cube. Now, if you click solid, it's showing you right now, hey, this is a solid proxy. You can then click it and it will be a wireframe. And you've got controls right here if you want to change that around. You've got a wireframe material if you want to switch it up. And so you can be able to like see what's actually going on. It actually show it. Maybe it's too small. Maybe that's not a real material. There we go. Okay, so naming conventions, blah, 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 no big deal. Uh, there we go. So that's it. That's the add-on. It's really not that difficult. It's super easy to use. That is the entire thing. It's going to loop through every object in your scene that has this modifier. So if you have one that doesn't have it, then you're not going to show anything here and not clutter up the scene. Now, if you do have one, you want to just add that on, turn him into a bounding box, not that one. You can just grab the object, the active object. It'll grab it for you right here. And then you can switch it around, do whatever you want with it. And you can have, like I said, any number of these in here. And you don't have to have the modifier on all of them, obviously. So you'll be able to iterate through those in a nice clean manner and I might put some other name, you know, like show the name if we go to the object menu, viewport, display, and name. I don't know. Leave something in the comments, guys, if you want to see the name showing up on these. I don't think it's that important because you do have the name here, Suzanne, Suzanne001. And only the ones with the modifier are actually going to show up. I'm going to have that on the Blender Market soon. I will be putting that, I hate that navigate, I will be putting this add-on on Gumroad soon as well, uh, probably tonight. Got a little bit more work I want to do to it, but check the link. So whenever this is actually posted, then that's going to be available. You'll be able to click the link and grab that add-on and keep it super simple because that's the way I like things. A very tiny UI. Cavity will be on. You can have on front, excuse me, in front for these. So if something's back there, you can turn on the, well, maybe. A couple bugs to work out. Either way though, it works smashingly well and I think you'll really enjoy using it and everything just super easy. Thanks for watching guys. Smash that subscribe, smash that like. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.